I told him the world is illusionary. There's no need to be regretful in this illusory bubble. Because when we go to the pure land, everything is real. I mean, everything comes from the true nature. So you can go anywhere at any time. So moving back to our current world, why is the world not at peace? Because everyone starts with thinking from their own self-interest at the expense of others. If everyone thinks like that, self-interest as number one, how can we have a peaceful world? have a world of harmony. Because of self-attachment, we have hatred. Because you do not follow me or follow my desires, or you have greed, I want, I wish, I love. So the attachment to self is the cause of all this misery. If it goes against me, I hate it. Something I like is great. And ego brings out that arrogance as well. I am above others, stuff like that. Everything's I. So Buddha starts with open heart surgery on the ego. This is how Buddha treats the problem. We have to break through the illusion of self. Without true wisdom, without true effort, even if you learn Mahayana Buddhism, it will have no effect on us. There's no achievements in our cultivation because the pollution is there. The ego is still there. Everything you do is tainted by that perspective. So no matter what we do, we will be tainted by the ego and end up creating bad karma. So our life becomes miserable. A person who is full of ego cannot be at peace. A person who is full of ego cannot have a united family or a united nation. Even in an organization like a Dharma place, you will not be brought up to the good point if everyone's egotistical. So Buddha advised us if we can take our eye out of the way when we are doing stuff, thinking stuff, speaking stuff, planning stuff, and instead we always think about others, then eventually everything gets better. If we think more about benefiting others, less about ourselves, then we get closer to that happy life. I met a householder, a lay Buddhist, and I said to her, you seem to have a very good material life. Everything you need is there. This was an elderly lady who served the community every day in the temple. I asked her, do you feel tired, fatigued? This elderly lady said, no, I don't feel fatigued at all. I feel more energetic. The more I do, the more energy I have. I feel the world is bigger. On the other hand, when people who have everything, but only think of themselves rather than to benefit others, experience any little triggers, any little wrong tone, or being brushed the wrong way, begin bickering, ranting and whining. Everything comes from hatred because it touches the ego. Therefore, if we remove selfishness, we will gain true benefits. With that, we will attain right awakening. So we understand that right awakening has its own standard to measure against. It's not a title you can give to anyone. Why do we start from right awakening? A person with this level of cultivation has let go of ego and selfishness, the idea that I comes first. 